Rose here and today we are, are going to be showing you the best way to clip your rabbit's nails. Okay, so first of all you want a table or something that's high off the ground because it's bad to flip your rabbit over on your its back because I just found this out that it is in um, a very state of fear, your rabbit is, so it's bad to do that. And if you did in the past, don't feel bad because I'll admit that I did too. But I will never do it again, and I feel really bad for doing it. But it's okay. So don't do that. You'll want something high off the ground. I have to use this table because I didn't have anything smaller at the moment, although I'll be looking out for it. But, like, anything small, as long as your rabbit stands on it, the smaller the better, in my opinion, because then he can't, like, hop away from it, you. But it's okay. So. Okay, so excuse um, excuse the mud on his claws. It was still there from yesterday when he was out in his run, and I wasn't able to get it all off, and, you know, I didn't want to go up and get a wash rag and everything, so sorry about that, but, um, it won't really affect the video because it's just dried mud. So, first of all, we'll do it on the middle nail first. It doesn't really matter which nail you're doing, but this one is just the easiest for you guys to see. So, you'll pull back the fur, and you'll reveal the quick, which is the little red thing in their nail. If you know, pull back your fur, you'll notice it right here. You can kind of see it. And if you cut too close to that, it'll make them bleed. And so you don't want to do that. If this is your first time cutting your rabbit's nails, cut a good distance away from it. Um, just because you don't want to make it bleed. If it does bleed, just take baking soda and put your rabbit's paw in it. And that will stop the bleeding, but it's just better altogether to avoid it. So, I'm having Jane here pet him, so that way he um, doesn't move, so that way I can cut him. It's easy with two people, but it still can be done with one, especially if it's a smaller space. Okay, so I'll do. Let's pull back this fur, and I'll do it right in front of the mud, because the mud is near it. The quick, you know what, I'll do it, yeah, a little bit in front of the mud. And then just gently squeeze off and you'll get the nail. So then, see, so you kind of turn to see what was going on. But it's not bleeding because I cut it a good distance away, but it's still short. Now, um, it's important to cut your rabbit's nails because they can get caught and get torn on things. And that's even more painful than cutting it at the quick. So yeah, it's important to cut your nails, cut your rabbit's nails, <laughs> not cut your nails, it's important to cut yours too. This wick is already back, all the way up back here, right my finger's pointing, it's hard to show in the video, this finger is where his wick is, or quick, not wick. <laughs> so I'm going to cut it up here. Okay, so here's the, um, I haven't cut this paw yet, but I'm just doing this nail because the other one was hard to show because it was on the inside so we'll do the middle one because it's easiest to show you guys as mud on it again so pulling this back his fur this quick is about right here so I'm gonna cut about that much of it off right this much there I'm always afraid I'm going to cut the quick. So I would like to thank Hopper for being really cooperative. I'll give him a treat. And then, um, don't forget that if you cut your rabbit's nails too quick, close to the quick, then just take a little, like, dish of baking soda and press your rabbit's paw into that and it will stop the bleeding. It works for dogs, cats too. And yeah. I hope this video helped you guys and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.